All right, friends, once again, welcome back to the PowerShell uh, series here. I am Indra Nil, and I will be uh, teaching you the concepts of PowerShell. So let's get started. And before we hit the ground, let's set up our environment, our PowerShell environment, to get the most out of it. Okay, so I have the Windows PowerShell open here in the administrator uh, mode. You can do it by simply clicking the PowerShell icon and choosing the run as admin option. Okay, so this uh, by, by doing this, you will get the highest privileges and uh, you can run each and every command. Okay, so once you do that, uh, you can also change the font size by default. The fonts are pretty small and if you go to the window PowerShell properties go to the fonts tab and you can choose a different size so I'm using size number 18 here okay for this uh, tutorial purposes so now on uh, if you are using Windows 7 or Windows 8 you might not have the latest version of PowerShell uh, currently, I'm using Windows PowerShell version number 4. So you can check your PowerShell version that is installed in your machine by running a command here that is a dollar symbol and then host. So hit enter and it will give you the current version of your PowerShell like this. Okay. So make sure you're running 4.0 or higher. And in case uh, if you are not having 4.0 because the, the reason why I'm emphasizing here because there are a lot of improvements uh, since version uh, 3.0 and uh, there are many more commandlets to work with and uh, of course you can upgrade your existing PowerShell even if you're running on uh, running Windows 7 by simply upgrading your Windows management framework okay let me quickly uh, show you you can I mean uh, I will be sharing the link to upgrade the PowerShell in the video description okay so make sure you check that link and uh, check your current version of PowerShell installed and uh, proceed as required okay let me know if you have any any concerns or queries and uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, hit a thumbs up there and we'll be discussing the PowerShell syntax in the next video. So stay tuned and have a good day. Bye-bye.